uh, now I am going to give you one of the exception handling with the class ok. For example, there is a base class ok. Suppose there is a class for example, in class how the throws are working ok. Now, I want to show you the exception handling with the class ok. Suppose, I am going to give one example say this hash include I O stream ok. Next one I N T main before I N T main I am going to use using namespace std ok. Now, it is another namespace the namespace is name is std ok because of you are going to use cout scene next I N T main. Generally before going to start I N T main I want to use one class here I want to use one class here then class name for example, test. Now, it is the test class and here I want to use one constructor and destructor in my program. Then constructor and destructor should be declared in public area that is why you should have to start public. Now, there is a public area and here we have to go for one constructor. Actually, constructor rule is what? The name should be similar to the class name. Now, class name is what? Test. That is why I am going to give the constructor name also same. Next, another important rule is what? Constructor and destructor should be declared within the public section only. That is why here I am going to start the constructor ok. And another rule for constructor is what? Constructor and destructor never contains any return type including void. That is why do not enter void or integer or something ok before the constructor or destructor name ok fine test and here I am going to write some code see out I am the constructor slash n ok. Next this constructor is completed and actually this constructor is having what only one line code I am the constructor next and now I am going to start the destructor ok. Destructor rule also what? The name should be similar to the class name. Now, test, test and how to identify it is a destructor based on the tilde operator ok. Now, it says test is a destructor. Now, it is the constructor and it is the destructor ok fine. Next, uh, here I am going to write some code like this C out I am the destructor ok. Now, brackets close and class also close. Now, this class contains one constructor and one destructor ok. Now, how the constructor and destructors are working with the try blocks ok. Actually, this program is what? How to work with the or how the constructor and destructors are working with the try blocks ok. You know that Generally, constructor is working at the time of object creation. When the object is going to create, constructor is working and when the object is going to delete, then destructor is working ok. Now, the point is when the constructor and destructors are used after the throw ok or in try block, what happens means uh, before throwing, before throwing the exception automatically the objects are deleted from the memory because of throw means what? It is throwing some value to the catch block. Actually throw block is in one place and catch block is in one place. Now, one value thrown from catch block that means in the try block watch it carefully what we are discussing. Actually in try block there is an object created ok. And now, object created means what? Automatically constructor is working now ok, it is common thing that is why first of all which one we are getting? I am the constructor. Next, when the destructor is working, when the block is going to close ok, but here before the block we are using the throw inside the try, then there is no scope for destructor working that is why what happened means uh, whenever the throw keyword is occurred ok, before passing the program execution to catch block automatically the destructor is working ok. 
that is why destructor also working okay, before passing the program to the catch block. Now, watch it for example, it is the main function int main. Now, the main is having just one try block, just one try block. Okay. Now, in the main function, I am going to open the try block. After try, just I am going to write C out message welcome to exception handling slash n. Okay. Now, in try block first matter is what? First statement is what? Welcome to exception handling. Later, I am going to create here this class object or class name is what? Test. Now, test space t. Now, it is object creation. Okay. In this line what happened? T object is created from test class and rule is what? Whenever an object of class is created, related constructors are automatically fired. Now, this class is containing one constructor that is why what happened? This constructor is going to be executed means I am the constructor it is going to be executed. But before this what happened? It is also going to print welcome to exception handling later it is going to execute I am the constructor. Now, what happened see this okay. throw I am going to throw for example, 10 in something. Now, throw statement is there and the try block is closed. Now, what happened? Actually, test t is there, throw 10 is there okay. and I am going to do one more thing see out testing destructor okay, slash n. Now, I am going to okay, close the try block. Mm. Now, as per the exception handling in try block, whenever throw is occurred what happens? When throw statement is occurred, program goes to directly catch block by skipping the remaining statements, okay, by avoiding the remaining statements from execution. That means, first welcome to exception handling printed, later object created. When object created means uh, constructor is working, I am the constructor also printed means two statements complete. Now, throw statement occurred, you know that when throw is occurred what happened? Remaining statements are not executed in that try block. Okay. That is why this line is okay, not printed on the screen, directly program goes to catch block. Suppose okay, I am using catch block like this, now everybody knows this, it is for what? Catch all, it is nothing but a catch all means it is going to catch every exception, any exception. Okay. Suppose here we are going to in return integer, uh, means we are throwing integer, it is able to catch float it is able to catch, character it is able to catch. Now, in catch block I am going to write like this C out, okay. here I am going to write like this. What I am going to write like? Thank you, brackets close. Okay. Now, it is the catch block and it is the main block also close. Okay. Now, watch it what happened. Here throw is occurring, already two statements are executed. What they are? first welcome to exception handling, later I am the constructor. Now, throw is occurred. When throw is occurred what happened means, uh, now this destructor also automatically executed. It is the important point. Whenever we are using the destructors in class in a try block okay, with exception handling. Okay. Remember this, whenever an object of uh, class is created inside the try block and that class is having destructors. What happens means, uh, when the throw keyword is working immediately the destructor is automatically executed. That means, after okay, this message, which message I am the constructor, destructor also working. That is why it is going to show you I am the destructor message. Now, it is going to catch. Now, catch is having what? Thank you. That is why your answer is what? Welcome to exception handling first. Later, I am the constructor. Now, throw 
when throw is occurred destructor is working I am the destructor next I am closing now catch block catch block is working what thank you now your program is going to be closed that is why according to this explanation what happens whenever there is a destructor in a class and the object of that class is declared in try block what happens before going to close or before going to reach the catch okay, the destructor automatically executed it is how the destructors and constructors are executing in our classes in exception handling thank you thank you for watching